Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. Here we have a string of beads formed by circles of the same size. The string passes through the center of each circle. So we have 25 circles of the same radius R. Shade the circle's areas that are enclosed or interior to the string in blue and shade the circle's areas that are exterior or not enclosed by the string in orange. What is the orange area minus the blue area equal to in terms of R? This is from a manga called QED, and I thank Sparky from the Philippines for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So in almost all of puzzles with a question like this, you'll find that the two shaded areas are equal to each other, so their difference would be equal to zero. But that is not the case in this puzzle, and that's why it's one of the most wonderful puzzles I've come across. So here's how we can solve it. We will first review the area of a circular sector. Let's say this circle has a radius of r and a central angle of theta degrees. Now the total area of the circle is pi r squared, so we just want the fraction of the circle, which will be the fraction of the central angle. So the area of the circular sector will be equal to pi r squared, the area of the total circle, multiplied by the fraction of the circle, which is theta degrees divided by 360 degrees. Now, let's consider that we have n points and we can join them to form a concave polygon. Not every point has to be a vertex of the concave polygon, but all the points together form a concave polygon. Let's consider the angles that are formed between the edges of this concave polygon and each of these endpoints. So we want the sum of all of these angles. So how can we do it? We will first triangulate the polygon. So from a central point, we will form triangles. So here, we're going to form n triangles. Now the sum of the angles we want will be equal to the sum of all the angles in these triangles minus the sum of all these angles in the center. But all of these angles in the center will of course sum up to be 360 degrees. So we subtract out 360 degrees. Now, every triangle's three angles will sum up to 180 degrees, and we have n triangles. So the sum of all the angles in these n triangles will be equal to n multiplied by 180 degrees, and we subtract 360 degrees. So we'll use this formula in a second. So first, we will note that the blue area plus the orange area is equal to the total area of the 25 circles. So what's the total area? It will be equal to pi r squared times n, and in this case, n is equal to 25, but let's just keep it general where we have n. So let's focus on the blue area now. Let's say the central angle of this first circle is theta one. So what's the area of this circular sector? It'll be pi r squared multiplied by theta one divided by 360 degrees. Here, let theta one be in degrees. Now let theta two in degrees be the central angle of this second circle. So this circular sector will have an area of pi r squared multiplied by theta two divided by 360 degrees. We can do this for all of these circles. So we'll add in all of these areas and then let theta n be the central angle of the last circle. So we have pi r squared multiplied by theta n divided by 360 degrees. So the sum of all of these circular sectors, we can factor out pi r squared divided by 360 degrees, and we multiply that by the sum of the central angles, theta one to theta n. But now we know what the sum of theta one to theta n is. We know that the sum of all of these n angles will be equal to n multiplied by 180 degrees minus 360 degrees. We simplify this to get pi r squared multiplied by n over two minus one. And that's the blue area. So now we know what the blue area is 
and we recall that the total area is equal to n multiplied by pi r squared. So we can calculate that the orange area is the total area minus the blue area, and that will work out to be pi r squared multiplied by n over 2 plus 1. And we know that the blue area is equal to pi r squared multiplied by n over 2 minus 1. So we can now take the difference of the two areas. So what is the orange area minus the blue area? The n over 2 terms will cancel out. So we are left with pi r squared multiplied by 2. 2 pi r squared. So the difference of the orange and blue areas is 2 pi r squared. And amazingly, the difference is always the area of two circles, and this does not depend on the number of circles. It's an incredible puzzle and a very unexpected answer. Wow! Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.